Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Hey, I found a really, really great asset and it's sort of hidden, so I wanted to make sure that you're aware of it. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're updated to the latest version of R25 where they included it. Then go to your asset browser and under the search, just type in FUI and there is this free asset called FUI Graph. And this is created by Chris Schmidt over at Rocket Lasso. So huge thanks to him for uh, creating this. So here is the FUI graph, and there are a ton of options in it, which make it a very powerful asset. All right, so I'm gonna just walk you through a few of these things, and then you can play with it yourself. And basically anything you can imagine, you can change in this Espresso rig here. So we can change the width and the height, of course. We can also increase the rounding and increase the gap between these bars. And the cool thing is under output, you can do graph, but you can also do circles and you can do lines, you can do rectangles. And under the type, you can also do pie charts, you can do lines and you can do step charts. So going back to bar, if we go to the data tab, we can change the noise. So let's make this a 200 frames and hit play. And you can see that this is animated as well. And this is animated with noise. So we can change the type of noise to play with what kind of animation this looks like. Then we can play with the noise scale and we can get some really interesting results doing that. We can also play with the octaves or the speed if we want to. If we play with the horizontal variation, you can get a lot of randomness in these bars, which is also a really cool look. And then if we go to the modified data tab, what we can do is we can flip this so it's coming down. We can reverse it and we can also play with these splines here. So if we take this end spline and we drop it down, we can kind of pinch in the two different sides of this and really dial in what we're doing. And one other thing I wanted to show you is if you go to the graph, there's a shift. And if we drop this down, you can see it's going down, but if we put this at zero, we can get some really nice waveform type uh, looks here. So one other thing I want to mention is that the power of this asset is duplicating it and then playing with the second one. So if we duplicate this in the second one, we can change this to a uh, circle and then we'll have a circle on the top of this bar. If we wanted to move this up, we can go to the V align and then we can move it to the top of our chart here. And now we have circles on the top. We can also do rectangles if we want to have a topper on these different lines. And another thing we can do is go to that original one and click on line mode. And then we'll just have a line with a circle on the top, which is also a really cool look. And we can also change that to a line on the top or a rectangle. And from here, what we can do is highlight both of these and play with some of these other ones. So if we change it to a pie chart, you can see that we have this really interesting look. We can change it to a line as well and we can change this to a circle now. So you can see that this is a very powerful tool if you do anything with HUDs or FUI. It's a really great asset. Huge shout out to Chris Schmidt for creating this, and it's available now in R25 in the latest update. Just search for FUI and you can start playing around with it. Hope you all found that useful. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.